It's time to build the layout component. This is a component that will pro provide the navigation and some other elements that are common on every page. And to get started, we'll go to the console, the terminal, and we'll start our Next.js application if it's not already running. This should um, load it up on port 3000. So the home page right now looks like this, white, boring, it says home. We're going to fix this, we're gonna make it uh, dark. So to do this, we are going to hop into pages underscore app. And this is one that we looked at earlier when we were doing sort of an overview of the code. And this is a component that wraps itself around every page. So what we are going to do is simply uncomment the styles. So these styles bring in all of Tailwind along with a couple other styles to basically make the background of the body dark. So you do a, a refresh and now it's uh, this nice dark blue color. We're going to do a couple other things in this file before we move on. We're going to uncomment a head and we're basically going to add a common title that's used on every page. So we'll start by putting this com component inside of a fragment so that we can insert some other things in here. And we'll put head, and inside of head we can include um, things like title. So this app is called Home Sweet Home. And we'll also include the link to show the favicon. So we'll just say the href goes to favicon.ico and save it, prettier will do its thing. And this works because anything that's in the public folder gets served up by Next.js. So we're just linking to this favicon file here. So if we were to go back, it's already hot reloaded. We've got home sweet home with the little house up here. It's looking um, dark. So we've got the dark theme going on and now we're going to hop over to index. Now index is the home page, and right now it's just returning a div. We're gonna tweak this by instead of returning a div, basically um, import our layout component that doesn't yet exist, but will eventually. So by uncommenting this line here, and then we can wrap layout um, around it. But instead of sort of it enclosing it and being passed this div being passed as a child, um, I chose to just do it by passing it as a prop. So I'm passing it as a prop called main, and then we'll pass in this div like this. So layout is a component that receives a prop called main, and right now it's just this div. So this will cause an error because um, layout doesn't export anything useful yet. So that's where we're going to go next. We're going to hop into source components layout. Just like this. Okay, so this is where we're going to build um, the layout component. And we can Im uncomment out the, the first two lines. And we're going to start by declaring um, an interface. So this app is TypeScript and it's in strict mode. So we need to declare the type of every single prop and every single um, parameter or argument being passed to a function and functional components are no different. So we're going to start by declaring an interface called iProps and in here we'll say that we're going to receive main and we can say that it's going to be a React node like this. And instead of exporting just this empty object, what we can do is we can um, declare uh, variable called const and we're going to give it a type. So this will be a functional component type and to here we can pass the props that it is going to receive. So these are the generics um, in TypeScript and we're going to cover generics more a little bit later but essentially we're just saying it's a function and these are the the types of objects you're going to receive. So that is equal to and we'll receive our main props and then down here we can just return, for now we could return anything we want. We could return a div that just says layout. And we need to export this. So this is being imported as the default. So we'll need to export default layout like this. So if we go back, it should right now say the word layout. So it's not really useful yet, but it's, it's starting to work. So what we could do is basically embed the main in here. And now 
what we're doing is we're showing whatever the main um, component is that was passed here. So if you remember, it's just this div. Obviously not too useful yet, but we're starting to move in the right direction. So now it's time to apply some styles using Tailwind. So that's done just by adding class names. So we're gonna give it a background of gray with a, a 900, so that's the color. We'll set the screen size. So we'll say a max width of a screen of 2XL. And we'll say MX Auto to basically keep, if it's, um, if it's uh, shrunk, if it's not as wide as the monitor is, it's going to center this by setting a um, margin on the x-axis to auto. And last thing, we're gonna set the text to white. So just by doing this with this text white, we should see home show up here. So inside of the div, we're going to create a nav element and the nav is gonna get some classes. So this is going to get a background color of gray 800 to differentiate it a little bit. And we're gonna just add some hard-coded styles just to set the height on this to uh, 64 pixels high. So this is the nav, come back. So here's this nav that's gonna be present along the top. It's 64 pixels high, which is important. And um, it's a little bit lighter color and below we have the rest of the, the home in this main here. So why don't we finish out the nav and then we'll come and tackle this main a little bit later. So inside of the nav, we're going to have another div and this is going to have a class name of uh, some padding. We'll add the padding, we'll make it flex, we'll center the items and we'll set the justification to between and we'll just make sure that this div has a height of 16 in Tailwind as well. In inside of here, we're gonna to start to add some links to take our users to different places. So I've already imported link from the next link package that comes with next. So in here, we can say the link is gonna href us to the home page. And inside of link, you typically have an a tag. You don't have to pass the href again because it uh, the link component handles it for us. And inside of here, we are going to have an image which will be the, an image of a house. We're, so we're gonna link this to home-color.svg, which is available in the, uh, the public folder. And we'll give it an alt tag, so home house, and we'll give it some classes as well. So this will be an inline image with a width of six. So save that, and we should come and we get this home here. So we're already home, so clicking it doesn't take us anywhere but it's starting to look a little bit nicer. So the next link we're going to do will take us to a page called Houses Add. And same sort of thing inside of here, we'll have Add House. So that's showing up here and it's on the right because of the justify between, it's putting all the space between these two. We're gonna add another one um, to log the user out. So on click, we'll do something that we'll come back to and we'll just say log out. So there we go, log out's over here, add house and home. But really we only wanna show these when the user's authenticated. And because we haven't built the authentication system yet, for now I'm just going to say that authenticated is false. And we'll only show these when the user's authenticated. So we'll do that by putting a ternary, so authenticated. If that's true, we will create a fragment and move these things into the fragment. Else, meaning you're not authenticated, we are going to create another link, which will basically take us to the auth page. That's the login and sign up page. So inside of the link, we have an A tag, and here we can say login slash sign up like that. So I'm gonna save and let Prettier do its thing and come back here. So what we're seeing now is home and login sign up. Uh, clicking this, this page doesn't look good yet because we haven't added the layout component around the off page, but we'll get to that in another video. So the last thing I wanna do on this page um, 
well, almost the last thing, what we're going to do is basically handle what happens when you click logout. For now, we're going to create a function called logout that when clicked will be called. So we'll come up here and we'll just say logout is equal to a function that just returns null. So basically it does nothing, but for now that's fine. I don't, I'm not logged in, so I can't even see that button right now. And um, why don't we style this main down here? So we're going to put the main component. So remember that's whatever's passed to this component here. We're gonna put that in a tag called main. So this is the main content on any page. Oops, let me just put this inside like that. And I wanna give it um, a little bit of styling. So I'm not gonna use Tailwind for this. I'm just gonna give it an inline style and I'm just gonna say the min height. So it's always gonna be at least this high is going to be a calculated height and it's gonna be 100 VH, so vertical height or viewport height, I think it is actually, minus 64 pixels. So why 64? Because that's how high we hard coded the nav. So we basically want the main to always at least be the whole screen high, except for 64 pixels, which is set aside for the nav. So coming back, you shouldn't have any excess scrolling yet, but this is what the home page should look like. And that's what we wanted to cover in this video. So it's not too intense yet. It's mostly just working with um, getting this layout component set up. And if we were going to go down and look at what files have changed, you should see three files. So we added to the underscore app, the head, so that we can add some things to the head tag on the website, like the title and the favicon. We up uploaded the, uh, we updated the index page to use the layout component and we created the layout component itself. And uh, that's everything we were going to cover in this video. So on to the next video.